the world's largest and fast growing network of 3D printers, 3D printing is expanding into more applications from tissue printing in biomedical industry to making custom metal part production in aerospace industry and everything in between. But is it environmentally stable? Let's find out. My name is Saurav. Welcome to Re3D Find. First, reduce waste. One of the major benefits of 3D printing is its ability to help companies reduce their waste. In CNC manufacturing, about 70% of the material used for fabrication of parts end up as scrap. With additive manufacturing, there is no need to remove material from a large piece of object. Rather than, you can create the material by putting it down layer by layer. This means there is no scrap and no waste. Reducing the amount of resources used can have a positive environmental impact and can help reduce costs. 3D printing can potentially reduce the manufacturing cost by 170 to 593 billion dollars, energy consumption from 2.5 to 9 exajoules, and CO2 emissions from 150 to 530 metric tons by 2025. But its very nature, 3D printing is a sustainable technology empowering 3D system printers to produce affordable products efficiently, one layer at a time, using only the necessary amount of material to produce each part with near zero waste in an energy efficient process. Next, reduce shipping needs. With mass manufacturing, material, parts, final products are often shipped long distances, creating significant level of carbon emissions. With 3D printing, however, you can manufacture a good closer to the end user. Retailers can print items in their shops, manufacturers can print the replacement for their machinery on site, and consumers. You can even print items directly in their homes. This dramatically reduces the distances the goods must be shipped. Next, sustainable material options. Manufacturers that use 3D printers can choose among various sustainable, recyclable, or environmentally friendly solutions, particularly with the evolving. While plastic is a common material for 3D printing, some researchers are developing printing methods using natural materials, primarily water waste or cellulose cutting material. Two of the most common materials for printing plastic items are ABS and PLA. When they are heated, they become soft and malleable, meaning you can reuse the old products to create new ones using a 3D printer. Regarding ABS and reusing it as a 3D printing material is already being done. ABS is not as nearly environmentally friendly as PLA as it is a petroleum-based product, but it can be used multiple times. However, PLA is made from plants, most often corns. PLA is not perfect. 7 liters of water is used to make this material and corn is a food source. Making PLA from agricultural waste would be superior. In other materials such as PET, 3D printing materials have been successfully made from most consumer recycled plastic bottles mixed with around 10% new PET. Researchers are also looking into ways of using natural substances as 3D printing material such as algae, coffee grounds or cellulose which is the structural component of plants, primary cell walls. Next, reduce energy use. Although exactly how 3D printing adoption on a large scale would impact the energy use is still uncertain. Some studies suggest that it may reduce energy consumption over the life cycle of a product. In one study, researchers from Michigan Technical University analyzed the energy required to print one object using 3D printer compared to what was needed to manufacture the object in factory, overseas and ship to US. The researchers found that printing the object took between 41 to 64 percent less energy. Part of this reduction was due to the 3D printer requires less amount of material and part of it was due to reduced need of shipping. Not only that, but additive manufacturing can also offer the opportunity to produce renewable energy source. Sandia recently 3D printed a solar cell that receives energy 20 percent more efficiently than the current technology. Using high temperature nickel alloy, Iconel and a powder bed fusion. Sandia is one example of the application of additive manufacturing in the energy industry. Next, environmental challenges. There are also some environmental problems associated with 3D printing technology. Using 3D printer can result in emission of nano sized particles that could be harmful. The emission rate is similar to activities such as cooking on a show, burning a scented candle, or smoking a cigarette indoors. Once Shelly noted, it's advised only to use 3D printers with proper ventilation. The environmental impact of 3D printing an object is significantly influenced by the material used. 
If you are using plastic that is environmentally harmful, the impact will be much higher than compared to the material used that is sustainably produced. Fixing this issue will require a broader change in the materials used for manufacturing. The additive manufacturing sector is still young, but it has a lot of potential to make manufacturing more sustainable. Companies and consumers must make a conscious effort to make sustainability a priority in matters related to 3D printing. However, 3D printing allows manufacturers to make structures using random materials that are impossible to make using traditional methods. Airbus 3D printed Titan cabin bracket, making the aircraft more economical to operate. It reduces fuel consumption and related emissions. But the question arises, does the product need 3D printing? Is it energy efficient? But one should understand that it can waste material on low productivity operations, which are better suited to more conventional mass productions. Some processes have a lot of waste compared to the actual material in the component produced, which are required for support or because of the operation of the machine. That's a waste. So choosing the most efficient procedure is important. So guys, that was all for this topic of environmental sustainability and its impact. I hope you guys have liked this informative video. So please hit the like button, share and subscribe. Also, if you want an object or design to be 3D printed, there is a link down in the description box. Please go and check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.